And when you're dead, you're done Let a good time you roll Together, let the good times roll. Don't sit there, mommy, talking trash. If you wanna have a ball, you gotta spend some cash. Let the good times roll. Hey, let the good times roll. Well, we don't care if you're young or old. Get together, let the good times. So, last leg, nearly home. I arrived in Dublin early morning and there was nothing else for it. Off to the Guinness Museum. Suitably refreshed, I met up with some folks who'd been following on the Facebook page and we hit the town. I met Bernie and Anthony originally in Australia in the car park of the Twelve Apostles. Andy O'Hare used to work at RAF Buchan, where I grew up, and it turns out I played rugby against him and a couple of mates from work. Small world indeed. They joined up, showed me the town of Dublin, and a good night was had. As you can see, it was boozy. Less than fresh, I awoke the following morning, got the beast out of the shipping agents and headed to Cotter's Motorcycles to meet Simon and Steve, who were to service the beast and pop some new fresh boots on her. I also met Tony Toner there, a great lad who works for the Irish Bike Buyers Guide. Once the bike was serviced, I headed up to Cavan to meet Ferg, who I'd met over in Australia. Ferg's old boy Paddy wasn't feeling too great, so we popped to see him in his care home and also stopped by his brother Adrian's. After saying goodbye to Ferg and his family, I headed north again into Northern Ireland and stopped off at the mecca that is Joey's Bar. A short time later I was hiking down a path to the incredible Giant's Causeway, somewhere I've always wanted to visit and it didn't disappoint. The natural formation of basalt rocks appear eerily man-made as they slide down the shore into the sea, step by step, row by row. If you're ever in this neck of the woods, it's well worth a visit and the roads to get there will bring a huge grin to your face too. After that I headed to Belfast for the weekend where I'd be getting the ferry over to the Isle of Man in a few days time, but for now Beer once again was calling as I stayed with an old friend from uni for the weekend. Sunday arrived and I headed down to the steam packet port, boarding my ferry for the Isle of Man TT. The crossing itself is only a few hours and it was great to meet a few folks who'd been following the trip. Thanks very much for coming over to say hi. My earliest recollection of bikes is seeing the TT on the telly many years ago. Names and bikes I knew nothing about, yet in later years I discovered these people were the legends of old. Since passing my bike test, the TT has been on my list, but I'd never bit the bullet and gone for it. What better time than on the homeward leg of a trip of a lifetime? I met Nicky on the island, and for the next week we enjoyed everything the TT offered.
TT week over and done with, Nikki and I had a few more days before our ferry just to explore some more of the island.
watching me, watching you. <laughs> well, where's the track, Luigi? <laughs> you can all move, it's a video. Half wits. <laughs> <I can run. laughs>